All right, guys. I'm uh, going to make a <clears throat> video today on one Punisher hitting a level 60 military stronghold. This video is not necessarily about how to hit a level 60 stronghold. This is more about why, or not why, but uh, why you drive the way you do. You know, what makes for a good player? Most of the guys who, guys or gals, excuse me ladies, that are good at this game, they drive well. They think about what they're doing. They don't just go blindly into a target without a plan, uh, just with, you know, ready, fire, aim kind of attitude. They have a plan, they have a strategy, and they take the least amount of damage as possible. Now here is my fleet. It is just one pun. One Punisher, Earthshaker, Cannons, uh, Annie Mort, and Phalanx, Phalanx 2. I've got, you know, Countermeasure 2, Hardened Barrel 3, RA3 Armor, Speed System 4, and Siege Bat 2 on these things. It's, you know, I'm a level, what am I now, 56. I don't have all the, all the tech to go with this stuff. Uh, but now this is going to be kind of long. I'm going to explain why I drive the 60s the way I do. And you can apply this to, you know, any target uh, of how to approach the importance of driving your fleets. All right, here we go. Let's go into this level 60. <clears throat> One of the most important things I can tell you uh, concerning driving is never take damage from a target you are not attacking. Now from right here, I would be stupid to go straight this direction because I'm going to receive damage from the torpedo turret. I'm going to receive damage from these two turrets, these two, these three, and eventually this. And the closer I get to this platform, that guy's going to start firing. Okay, if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to spend time killing this platform while I'm taking fire from this pl from this platform, that makes no sense. Okay, now the pattern, the path I'm going to take, I'm going to come right through here. I'm going to come around this direction. Then I'm going to swing out back to here and then straight over to this platform. And I'll explain why as I go. I'll leave it zoomed out as much as I can, uh, but there will be there may be some times when I need to zoom in. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get this platform first. Now what I want to do is stop my fleet when my range line is over the back turrets. Now I can't do anything about this guy firing at me. Well. But I can go, once I get here, I go straight to this platform. And I'm going to stop right here for a minute and explain something. Okay. Right, I've got that one and that one. Hardly any damage whatsoever getting these two in that ship. I focus more with these um, military strongholds with anti-missile instead of anti-mort. Uh, any Mort's important, don't get me wrong, but uh, I can outrun Mort, you know, uh, uh, mortars. I can't outrun missiles. So, all right, right here I've got two options. The next thing I've got to hit, I've got to hit this torpedo tower. I can come this direction or I can go around. I, if I come up through here, I'm going to activate all four of these turrets on this platform. And they're going to be firing at me while I'm sitting here trying to kill this thing. Now, there's no way that I can kill this without activating these. I just don't have the range. It's got hardened barrel threes. That's just about as good as it's going to get. So, if I come around here, I can, sh I can kill this torpedo turret, but I am going to activate these two. That's just something I've got to live with. Always the shortest point... The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. 
I don't want to come up through here. I want to come straight at this thing. Get to it as quick as I possibly can. Maybe get it before it uh, has time to fire off an extra round. Now I'm going to come right here and wait till my. I'm going to stop right there. Now the reason I just stopped right here, I'm not. I'm too far away to activate anything else. If I came on around, I'm going to have to keep eliminating these walls. Once you kill walls, stay where you're at. There's no sense in coming on up through here and having to destroy this wall too to get to that turret. Just stay where you're at. All right, there is a way to kill this torpedo turret without activating it. You come straight to this post right here. However, if I come straight over here, the front of my Punisher is going to stick out in this area. That will activate that turret. So what I have to do... I want my Punisher to be parallel to this, these two posts. So I'm coming over to this point and I'm clicking right here. This will allow my Punisher to turn and get straight parallel with the platform and it will never fire. I can kill it for free. Okay, now <clears throat> on these two platforms, uh, if I come straight up through here to kill this platform, I'm going to activate that ship and I'm going to activate that platform as I said earlier do not take damage from a target you are not either headed straight towards or actively attacking so what I'm going to do I'm going to swing out here a little bit And I'm going to come around and I'm going to come straight at this post and I'm going to stop about right there. I want to stay back far enough to not activate these turrets until I'm headed straight to it. Combat speed is a lot faster than turn speed. And once my line gets over there, I'm going to stop. Now, this guy is shooting at me, but I'm not worried about him because, see, he's I've killed the platform, I'll outrun these mortars, no big deal. And I'm coming straight to this. I have seen some people come up through here also, trying to kill this platform. If I come up through here, I'm going to take damage from that, that, and the other platform. All right, This is not necessarily how to heal, kill a level 60. Um, I'm going to do one more and not stop and show you how I do this when I set waypoints. It's a predetermined path um, by holding down the shift key. Let's go. I know I'm going to come right here. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to click right here. I never stop. My ships, my fleet will follow my line. I think you can only set five waypoints at a time. It's kind of like remote control. When you work out a path, that works for you, that you're comfortable with, learn it, practice it, hone it, and then you can set your waypoints. Alright, now I'm going to try and draw my imaginary line from this post to this post to about right here, right in there, so I can come up parallel to my platform so I can kill this guy with no damage.
Now I'm going to come to about right here. I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to come about right here. I'm going to go to here. And then I'm going here. Another predefined path. And I know a lot of you guys know this stuff, a lot of you, you know, bigger guys, but some of you younger guys who are just starting out in this game, think about your driving skills. Practice your driving skills. That's how you get good. That's how you save repair time. That's how you kill bigger targets that other people just can't seem to figure out how to, how to kill. It's practicing your driving. Guys, that's it. Um, I hope this helps. Uh... And, you know, once again, do not take damage that you don't have to take. Don't just blindly go into a target. I hope this helps, guys. I'll see you later.